This is DC Denton Crow Crusader. Here's our few crows up there. It's the 3rd of September. In three days, Brian will be back. Pick him up on Wednesday. I have no idea how he's going to do, but we'll just make the best. He says he's strong enough to come home, and uh, we'll see how he does. It's a long process, but I think he's... Uh, look, somehow the crows... Well, the crows are very smart. Um, they know about Sundays, but you see, Seymour's not here, right? The, uh, the gulls haven't figured it out yet. They will when I start feeding twice a day, they'll be here in the morning. But right now, somehow they haven't figured it out. Or they're mostly up in the morning. We don't know how far they're coming, actually. And here's her, here's a couple of little uh, sparrows here. They little guys. The Petey there, huh? The little guys sitting up there. Yeah. My two little babies. Those are about 10, 12. Okay. Let's get down to business here. Pigeons. Pigeons are on the field. Let's see here. I like that. I just had that to show you yesterday. We went to sunflower seeds. That's what they like. And we'll put this down. And we'll put this down. Walnuts. And the rest of the seed. Here we go. Okay. Let's start with this. And, uh, and the Because that's what Katie likes. Okay. The will be over here in a minute. Some over here. I've got some over here. Ah, oh, it's so nice. No one's around. Wow. Super nice. I'm surprised the pigeons aren't over here, but I guess we're getting into the uh, seed and so forth from yesterday. And there's one crow there. So, I've got some nuts here. Also, Pete likes his nuts. Right. We'll see what happens. Get our peanuts out. Put out first here. Well, we got something for the pigeons to be coming over here. We're working on something over there. I'm surprised you're not over here. I guess because there's something still left over to eat. Because I usually don't come till the evening. Here we go. Nuts. Look at that. First car of the day. There's some cans over there. I guess people, kids were drinking here. Nobody coming down though. Look at that. That's interesting. Oh wait, here they come. 
Here they come. I'll save some of these one much later for tonight. But we'll put down the rest of the uh, cashews. Here are the pigeons. Oh, I'll have to put out some more bird seed. Everyone's having a good time. Sunday is the best time to feed. Okay, put this away. This is empty. All right, now what do we have left here? We'll put down some more birdseed. Maybe we have someone looking again. Wow. She doesn't come over here. No. And she just kept on walking. Okay. Oh. There we go. I know, honey. Put some more up here. What in the world is that? Oh, it's a penny. What's the matter now? Okay. Now sometimes the uh, crows really get angry. Something they don't like. Uh, something not good. They notice and hear, see and notice everything. Okay, let's go to the field. We still have a bag of uh, other nuts there. We'll go to the field here. the good stuff here. Of course, I don't know. The nuts are pretty good. I just have peanuts in here because all the other nuts I threw on the, yeah, it's easier for them to get it. And I can do that on Sunday. During the week, I cannot. So the nuts go on the pavement over there on the sidewalk and here on the field. Let's, uh, Let's throw our stuff down over here to that. Okay. See, no, uh, no, see more. They just haven't figured it out yet. Okay. Put that there. Keys were very active last night. So, this will last them. Good part of the day here. Here we go. Plenty of eggs in there. Muesli. Two bags of seed. Mixed seed. Grain. Eggs. Because you know, the uh, crows love the eggs too, and uh, they're not just for Seymour, and uh, I never know if she, Seymour is going to turn up. I have to have his eggs there. He'd be very unhappy, very unhappy camper if he didn't get his eggs. He needs those eggs. Okay. So, there's our little crows. Yeah. It's a nice little group. Still, 
still maintaining somewhere between 30 to 40 crows. I'll never have what I had originally because they're all gone, like Charlie. They just don't come back. And uh, Charlie came back except when he was building his nest for 10 days, every day for nine years. So if he didn't come back, people say, oh, well, they just took off somewhere. No, they do not do that. This is the only place they get food. No, if they don't come back, they're dead. That's what that means. They're dead. Even if someone fired a shotgun, in a few days they come back again. Unless, of course, they're shot with the, sh with the, uh, with the gun. But if they're not, they're frightened for a few days, but then they come back again. That has been my observation. The only way they don't come back is when they're dead. And that's why the people poison them here, because they don't ever want them coming back. Okay? So, isn't that why people poison so-called pests, rats and mice and ants? They poison them. So they either poison them directly or they give them bait that takes it back to the nest and they poison all of them. And that's what they do here. In the nest situation, they put it down, the birds take it back to the nest, they're all poisoned, okay? You don't have to be a rocket scientist